Hey, what's up, everybody? Moose Dash Trading here. And uh, today I'm just going to cover the losses on Beyond and F Sale. Just kind of cover, you know, the difference between a good cut and a bad cut. Um, so we did have paper hands on FCEL, uh, but we did pretty good on Beyond. I'm pretty happy with the Beyond cut. Um, and then if you did actually hold Apple, good job. If you bought in, re, you know, reback on that level, good job. Uh, back with the market. So good work on that if you did do that. Um, JD still holding. All the other leaps still holding. If you got out of BNGO and you're looking to, you know, get in for a farther or for a re-entry, you know, good job. Uh, you know, nothing crazy if you didn't, if you're still just holding. Uh, but today I'm going to cover the Beyond and F sale losses, um, which we don't hide from our losses. We learn from them. Uh, so today, um, Beyond, we cut for 28%. I think it was 27, 28%. Uh, we were playing for the bearish Harami. Uh, price ended up just kind of sitting still, uh, but also pushing up. We ended up cutting as it was pushing back up. Uh, so definitely okay with that. I'm not really going to fret about that one. Definitely one of our bigger L's, uh, 28%. We don't normally take our losses beyond, you know, 15% really too often. So, uh, but just kind of wanted to show you the difference between what this is. You know, this is a good time to cut something, uh, between this, which is where we have paper hands, um, which it's still holding as you can see. So the levels are still playing out, but uh, I ended up cutting the signal as it ended up pushing up into our stop loss. So I abided by the alert. You know, I abided by the stop loss we all agreed on and looked at uh, together on the bigger time frames. But as you can see, price did end up coming back down, creating a lower high, which is bearish uh, for intraday analysis. So price ended up did coming back down and just range trading above the 10. So um, as you can see, the levels are still playing out. So if you did hold it, no big deal. But uh, when we cut the signal, it was only a $13 loss or 8% loss on the trade. So uh, nothing crazy with that. Uh, but I will definitely be looking at these tickers still. Um, I've been definitely keeping, as you guys can see, I have a ton of watch list. I have definitely been keeping a watch on a lot of the things we keep looking out for. Uh, we can take that off. But, um, yeah. Let's see, do I have f in here? I didn't. All right. Well, now we do. But, yeah, uh, just kind of there to add on. So if you guys want to comment below in this video what, you know, stocks you want to have added on here, you know, let me know and we'll definitely watch them more for patterns and, and good price action because you, you guys know how we trade. Uh, we go off of just pure uh, support, resistance, trend lines, and we look at patterns, we look at volume spikes, you know, all that good stuff. So um, please make sure to also go review some of the other videos if you want to catch up on any of the actual profitable trades we did take. But we do also post our losses, so don't, you know, I don't think we hide from that. Um, so you can also learn from the losses as well. But I hope this video is helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.